Good morning, Snapchat. Matt Lamar is here, coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know why I yell it. I feel like it's maybe just something to like break up your morning and like let me get your attention real quick, you know? <laughs> All right. So nevertheless, the reason that we aerate because it's not sexy uh, applying fertilizer and seed and lime and all this stuff is not fun right it's work but what it brings you in the spring is a nice uniform deep green lush full thick lawn that's why we aerate now in the fall for cool season grasses so if you're a DIYer you can go to your local tool place rental place and uh, pick up one of these things for 40 50 60 bucks a day you know, you get you and a couple neighbors to do this, and you pay 20 bucks for an aerator, that's a pretty good deal. It's a lot of work. A walk behind aerator is a lot of work. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. What it does is just not your friend. I'm being honest. <laughs> I've spent hours, probably hundreds of hours at this point behind a walk behind aerator. It is work, it is real work, it's man's work. Let me hook up to this trailer real quick, hold on. Okay, so we're out doing maintenance. You see empty trailer, skag. These are those uh, entrances we do, the homeowner neighborhood entrances. Mow, trim, edge, blow real quick. Uh, we're gonna do some aerations this afternoon, so stick around with me, please. I need a slightly taller trailer. Oh, uh, all right, so aeration, overseeding, fertilization today in the afternoon. Come back for that. Uh, for now, music. All right, one quick second here. Okay, for those of you following along yesterday, you saw that reciprocating aerator that we we're using. We're sitting still. Uh, the drum style that you just saw works on a drum. It rolls around and it's got those tines that come in and then they rotate out and then they throw that plug out, right? Yes. So the two differences there, obviously, the reciprocating coming down and then coming up very, very rapidly. So all of, when it goes down, it's picking up a new plug and then pushing the old one out of it. Let me draw this. <laughs> okay. I talk a lot with my hands, obviously, but I think I need to draw more. We're gonna start drawing more. Black and white here. <laughs> okay, sorry. So with the drum, the difference is that it's just rotational, whereas this is straight up and down penetrating the soil, right? So the tine is designed the exact same way. So those three plugs that you saw that could be encapsulated in that six, eight inch tine, it's exactly the same. The only difference is the movement. Is any of this making sense? Swipe up and say, Matt, you're crazy. This does not make sense. Or spot on, got it, move on. All right, so excuse the craziness that's going on here. Dinner time. Oh, the cat goes. Corn. Woo!